What's up, everybody? It's your boy Key. You know from back, back, back. Maybe with another video. Thank y'all for kicking it with me today. Y'all see my scenery where I'm at? Look very familiar, right? Yep, but we back again with another video. We got Paul right here. So, guys, we got a good one. A lot of y'all been asking this, and it's something I've been wanting to do as well. Like, compare a BDS lift kit, coilover kit, versus a Rough Country Vertex coilover kit. Now, I ain't got no, like, fast lane truck material and 20 cameras out here, different angles. We ain't got that. We just go do a drive and see how we, you know, he's going to drive my truck with the uh, Vortex coilovers, and I'm going to drive his with the BDS kit. Just, just see how it feels. You know, I never drove a truck with a BDS kit. You said you did drive a... I've driven, <laughs> uh, I've driven a standard rough country, country. kit with okay. just the spacer lift okay so and you said it, it was pretty it was pretty rough <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty rough so hopefully we can change my mind but we'll see i'm very curious to see this i know a lot of y'all been asking for this video uh and and i'm curious too to see so my lift kit is the bds six inch lift kit okay. um it's factored in with the fox coilovers with the dsc adjusters okay so that is an option that you have to add on okay and then i also have a five inch rear block okay and the bds upper control arms as okay. well so i'm gonna show y'all what you're talking about y'all was just curious he's talking about he has the bds control arms yep. and then he has the this right here yep yep what do you run yours on do you have a number or a setting um, or anything or they how have you... numbers uh -huh. but i'm talking Gonna be totally honest, yeah. I've never messed with it. Really? It rides good. Okay, so, gotcha. I, gotcha. I haven't felt a need to mess with it yet. Gotcha. So. I think we covered everything on the lift kit. Got the Fox shocks in the rear. Yep. That comes Fox with the BDS shocks kit. In the rear, Fox coilovers. Price. Price. So this is definitely probably the most expensive lift kit you can get. Nah. That's not like a FTS. Yeah, or FTS or a 12 inch lift kit yeah. or something like that. McCoy this is, this that. is what yeah. most people would buy. Yes, it's, it is true. So my entire setup is $5,600 retail. Okay, and that's just for the lift kit. And, and that's the, lift kit and with the, the coil, the or coil. The, yeah, with the coilovers and the upper control arms. Gotcha, now. okay. They also have an add-on for traction bars, but I didn't do that. Ah. They're a little plain. <laughs> yeah, honestly, so. yeah, they, uh, honestly, I like, I know traction bars are very beneficial from what I hear, bro. I don't like, I, I kind of like how they look, but I kind of like the, the clean look. I kind of like that. I don't like, you know, it's just a preference thing. I think yep. they look good too. It's, I'm torn. I'm 50-50 on it. Do it right. Truth. It looks good. Yes. Yeah. Do it right. It looks good. I know you, you did recently adjust yours. Did you yeah, raise them? So like I said, I have the five inch block in the back. Okay. So that would te technically give it a little bit of rake. Yeah. Up front. Uh, like a factory truck. Yeah. But I wanted to have a little bit more clearance for the 36s. Gotcha. So... BDS does not want you to <laughs> raise your coilovers. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love my kit. Their customer mm -hmm. service is great. Yeah. But uh, they just, they don't want you to, I think for liability <laughs> reasons, uh, yeah. which I totally get it. So to adjust these, uh -huh. it's this whole process. You got to pretty much put this thing on a lift, mm -hmm. get all of your weight off the suspension, take your wheels off, uh, disconnect your upper control arm, move that out of the way, mm -hmm. and then you have this little set screw in here yep. uh, that you have to loosen, mm -hmm. and then you can adjust the ring. Gotcha, yep. And it sounds simple, <laughs> but it's not. You're right. <laughs> so the it pain adjustment. Some, it took some time to uh, adjust those. How long you say it would take if you just had to guess? For the took us like an hour and a half. An hour and a half? Dang, Which that's a lot. I've adjusted coilovers on yeah. like sports cars and stuff before yeah. and it's a lot easier. <laughs> a lot easier. And, so. and just to transition over to my truck guys, y'all yeah. saw the video where uh, Bobby did mine. He lift up the front end and then he went in and it took him like 30 minutes you know so yep. super easy we didn't have to take the control arms off or move them out the way or anything yep. um but just talk about my lift kit as you know i'm on a it's original six inch rough country lift kit i added the coilovers vertex coilovers here um so that brought me up to about seven seven and a half inches of lift i don't know what the block size is in the rear i mean when you said that I don't know mine but um you know so i'm about seven inches to fit the 37s uh price wise for the vortex rough country six inch lift kit you're looking at about 3200 bucks now if you add the bds control arms like i did additional about i got them on a good di a discount for my guy justin so you're looking at about extra 900 bucks so about four grand you're about four grand you know to get that and then of course i added the fox shocks too in the rear because i will say the fox shocks are much better than the rough country in three shocks that were on there these are a lot better so yeah, fox makes really good stuff. yeah they do so you're probably looking at 
4,500, 46, 4,700 bucks for my setup. So, yeah, man, I don't think left to do. We, we can talk about them, but I know we want to drive. I want to drive. I, I'm really excited to drive it. And plus, he got some performance stuff too on his that he talked about in the last video. Y'all didn't see that? Go check it out. Just to feel the different performance. I'm really curious what you have. You ever drove truck with 37s? Uh, I have not. You have not. Okay, so I'm curious to see how you do you how you feel how the 37s feel to you. So, right. with that being said, guys, we about here we go. Another thing with the with the, the kits is the the angles. How much stress or how much the angles? You know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, so for your Park, CV probably better say it. <laughs> Oh, that's an airplane. Your... It's going to be loud. I, we've been airplaning the video the whole time. Hopefully, it don't overshadow us. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So whenever you lift your vehicle, uh -huh. uh, if you have a four-wheel drive vehicle, you have your front diff. Yep. So you have CV axles. Yes. So for your four-wheel drive system. So yep. you have to get a diff drop bracket, right. which part, it comes with your kit. Yep. But with certain lift kits, and depending on how high you go, mm -hmm. How the angle of your CV axle yep. either gets you know more angled angle, or yep. it's more straight. Right. Obviously, the straighter they are, the better, better. the safer. Yes. But what we were just noticing, we just noticed it. Yeah, looking at it. Yeah. Looking at the Rough Country, Country. kit versus the BDS. Mine's a little more stressed. The Rough Country kit's a little more bit more stressed. stressed. And yeah. we talking about this right here, right? So they can see. Yeah. So. You can point it out to them. Yes. Yeah, so right these there. these are your CV axles. Yep. So typically you want that to be straighter okay. because when you're doing, uh, when you have it in four wheel drive, yeah. those start spinning. Yeah. So, you know, you know what? You don't want them to be at a crazy angle when they're rotating. You know what? And when I put mine in four, four wheel drive and I reverse, they pop like pop, pop, like me and Caden. Don't know. respond to that. I don't mean either, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I, uh, me and Caden, we were taking pictures. I was trying to reverse up. He's like, yeah, every other spin you're popping, you know? Yeah, so that's, that's probably that, what it that is. probably is CV axles. Right. And we look at his. Yeah, look you, at mine. Just to show y'all the difference. Yeah. It's, like, those are a little bit straighter. straighter. They are. I will say they really are. They are a little bit straighter. So, and yeah, our lift kits are actually set pretty much the same. About the same. High. Yeah. So. so that's another thing to notice that the angles on the BDS do tend to keep the factory angles better than yeah. the rough country. All right, guys. Here we go. So Paul is going to drive my truck first. Oh. Let's get the seat way up. <laughs> I'm a little taller than Paul. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, get my seat up. <laughs> it's so weird sitting on the passenger side of your own truck. Yeah. I swear. It really is. It's it's very weird. It is. So, it's weird. Why well, I don't normally like driving in the passenger seat. It <laughs> weirds me out. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, you turn, yeah, that turn that off for the video. No copyright yep. strikes. No copyright. There you go. So you need to start your own YouTube channel, man. Yeah. I know all the logistics with YouTube. It's uh, a little bit of a pain. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, because you heavy with your Mustang, right? I mean, where, like, were you, uh, you were doing a lot of TikTok stuff I saw on your Mustang. I, sure. Yeah, I've done some TikTok stuff with the Mustang. Um, there was a video feature on my Mustang as well. But, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, dude. Uh, that, you don't see this big coming. red truck coming, huh? <laughs> you only look one way. Yeah, I know. Anyway, all right, yeah, I could well, have got an F two fifty. Yeah, I know. <laughs> go ahead. Well, yeah, right off the bat, though, I'm actually pretty impressed already. Really? Okay. So good. Like, like I was telling you, like the spacer lift kit that I rode in on my buddy's truck, like uh -huh. it was really rough. Yeah. But this is a ton smoother. So good. And I know the Vertex haven't been out long. So right, right. Um. For, so for this being like the first iteration of them, not yes. having to do any adjustments to them or have a a new version come out, it's pretty damn impressive already. <laughs> I forgot to say, guys, uh, when um, my adjustment, I ride mine between two and three. And uh, I know you said you haven't changed yours. Yeah, I haven't touched mine yet. <laughs> I did. I did. So I did one. I did three. I did eight just to see the difference. And you can tell the difference. Yep. One was too soft for me. Um, three seems to be the perfect spot, how I like it. But, you know, to each their own. Right, yeah. It's uh, it's definitely a preference thing with how you want your vehicle yes. to ride. So, And it also depends on the application, too. Right. So, I mean, if you're doing more off-road stuff, you're going to have to adjust it so, to that. But yep. if you're daily driving, it's going to be a total different setup. Exactly, yep. As far as the... Man, I'm a little speechless, honestly, because <laughs> it's actually really impressive to me already. Really? <laughs> good, good. So, it's a, it, it's a lot smoother than I uh, was expecting. Yeah. Not to talk crap on rough country no no but, you know no, it's just course. they've had that rep for a long time yeah everybody do rough was country kind of, yeah rough yeah <laughs> it was just very looked down on so i will say their stuff has definitely come a long way from yeah. me driving this already so and the 37s like i actually it's it's really not that big of a difference really like i have 36s so it's not oh, too different right, right, but right. 
still like it's super smooth yeah yeah um yeah i don't know it's really smooth like it drives good i want to kind of get on a little i know this is a pretty smooth road it, it is a pretty smooth road so i want to go uh, i ain't gonna say a rough road but you know some bumps so do you since you're running 36s yeah uh, i noticed when i first put the 37s on the column the steering felt way heavier i can like you you know you move it side yeah. to side I, but you're on 36s so you're right there while i'm at it anyway you know right yeah i mean I mean, my buddy's truck had 35s. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I, I definitely could feel the difference because yeah. I drove his truck too. Okay. So, okay. I mean, there's definitely a difference between 35s and mm -hmm. even 36 and 37. Okay. But um, the steering column thing, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, it, that's definitely a thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're not just talking crap. <laughs> so, it's really smooth for how big this truck is. Yeah. So. See if we can try to pop a Yui. Yeah, I uh, will. Yeah, just take your turn and just go turn around. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around up here. There's a Let's little, a little uh, sport circle mode. drive. Let's see, up here. a little celebration. What you uh, think yeah. with it on? <laughs> All right. Well, again, for 37s, that thing gets up and goes. It does, man. <laughs> it's, and it's the MPT tune, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah. Now, like we were, like we were saying in the last video, like. Uh -huh tunes and stuff on yeah. these trucks mm -hmm. especially the eco boost because they're turboed right. so i mean it really wakes it up yep yeah, so nice. yeah i'm impressed for 37s and how massive this truck is because i think yours is still like a little bit bigger than mine yeah it's just a little it's taller. very similar setups but it's yeah. a little bit bigger right so i mean it, it definitely moves it does man i'm not even re-geared but if i re-gear this truck that too yeah um yeah. are you re-geared i'm not okay uh i actually looked into it mm -hmm. but uh, for how expensive it costs it, it is expensive and you got uh, four you four-wheel drive i am four-wheel drive yeah, too so it's so. super expensive yeah, you can't live in Texas and have a two-wheel drive truck. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, no, don't do that to them, man. I, I know some of my sons like, no, I know. Oh, man. Yeah, no, you, like you said, you can't live in Texas, guy. I mean, yeah. in Texas, a lot of people tow and do all that stuff. And, no, you know, I just, just can't. Got to give you a little crap. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's come in useful a couple times. Yes. So oh, yeah, for sure. You, you got to. Like you said, talk crap about rough country and the name, yeah. and oh, uh, that's terrible. I think they had that name that's just like you said, been that rep that just has stuck with yeah, them. Yeah, it's and I finally think people are coming around to it. I know a lot of people getting the vertex coilovers call over, call now. Yeah, so like you're saying, like it, they've had that rep for a long time, and uh -huh. it's it's really stuck in the truck community. It is. Um, oh, you can take like it out even, if you want to. Sorry, well, no, you're good. Uh, even like when I had my first Mustang, like five six years ago like uh -huh. i was still hearing about rough country right <laughs> and like I, I i've heard it for a long time yeah and it really does seem like their stuff is really improving and yeah. coming around I so, already has to. um like with them coming out with a coil over line yeah like that's that's a really big step up because if you've ridden in a truck that has just a spacer lift mm -hmm. versus a truck that has coilovers you really tell the difference um you it a spacer lift is really if you just want the looks but mm -hmm. if you actually want to have something that rides nice and you know mm -hmm. you got to have the coilover so gotcha. for them having a coilover out now like that's is a it, huge step up for it them. is and you know they also got them in the rear too now and they do yeah, yeah. They, they got well, the uh, or they have a, shocks yeah they have a new shock yeah, yeah. with the reservoirs yeah. on them yeah. so so i don't know anybody that has had those yet so can't I, speak for them but i'm sure right. i mean if the coilovers are riding this nice yeah. i'm sure the shocks are just as good. good right I, I hear great things i know a, a few people a few of you all watch the channel have them so here's some bumps what do you think feel like it's absorbing pretty good yeah it's absorbing pretty good i mean yeah. this is definitely not as smooth of road as we were on earlier right so i mean yeah it's you barely notice them and and it's uh, i'm glad you're saying it so this is the, what we're feeling right now is typical when you lift the truck, right? Like the bumps like that. Yeah. A lot of guys who get lift kits, bro, like, man, I lifted my truck, it rides rough now. I'm like, I always yes. tell people, it's not gonna ride like a stock truck, man. It can ride smooth. Like, this is smooth. Yeah, this is this is a smooth road right here. Like, this is right. completely fine, nice and smooth. Um, but I tell them, don't expect it to ride like yeah. stock. If you're gonna do such a drastic suspension change, uh -huh. like, 
suspension is literally everything like if you're gonna do a, such a drastic change like that it's not mm -hmm. gonna ride like brand new stock right. truck i right. mean <laughs> i mean it kind of boggles my mind just a little bit that uh. people are confused by that but <laughs> <laughs> i mean not to yeah. not to talk crap on some people but right. i mean you're doing a major modification yep so i mean it's it's not gonna be the same anymore I so it's here. gonna be different yes. do you feel more body roll you think do you feel any body roll really Maybe a little, a little bit, bit, but okay. not bad. Okay, okay. Just a little bit, but it's it's really not bad. Right. Okay. So oh, they got the arm down. Oh yeah. They got a guard up here now. Uh oh. All right. Not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Paul will work his charm. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a lady too. She looking like uh oh. Hey, just down here at the water. So Hi. thanks. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I would have went into a whole explanation. Um, so we were doing a YouTube video, and uh, we, I got to get his truck. We and my, <laughs> I would do this whole thing. I over explain everything, guys. But uh, I think it's just a YouTuber thing. Sometimes it, it might. <laughs> <laughs> it is, bro. So, but like we were saying, guys. So a lot of you all out there asking and wondering, you, when you lift your truck, it will not ride like it will ride fine if you do the proper setup, but it won't ride like stock. Just keep that in mind. I get that question all the time. I get people who ask, "How does it ride?" I'm like. It's hard to say because a lot of people come from a stock mindset. You're gonna be like, oh, it's terrible. But I'm like, it's not. You just have to understand, like Paul said, what you're doing. Yeah. You're doing a major suspension over suspension overhaul. So just don't expect it to ride like stock. Gas mileage, expect to lose that. What do you average MPG? You remind me of? Uh, typically about sixteen or seventeen. Sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Damn, you well, averaging good, dude. Well, I also don't drive. With you, a hard foot, so ah, I got you. You, you be okay. Still, I, I'm pretty, that's still I'm pretty, pretty good. easy on my truck. Uh, so, okay, okay. Um, yeah, 16, 17. Okay. Uh, on the highway, about the same. It doesn't really improve on gotcha. the highway. I don't have a backup camera. It's out. Yeah. That's what, yeah. You know. Well, you're good. Anyway. Yeah. I, I've seen the video. Where you're about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, backup camera is nice on a truck, though. It is. I'm this not gonna size. lie. Yes, I, I miss it. I miss it dearly. I'm not gonna even lie to you. Yeah. All right that fixed <laughs> yeah i do i need that bag it, it's you know so overall what's your impression man overall Wait. overall i really i really like it i'm like i said multiple times like mm -hmm. i'm really impressed okay. rough country has really stepped up their game yeah uh releasing these coilovers like that's a huge step for them mm -hmm. Coil, like coilovers again like across any vehicle coilovers mm -hmm. are going to ride better than anything right so them having their own coilover line it's and it's an entry level it is like it's very it's very reasonably priced yes so for somebody that doesn't want to dump a ton of money right or right. just doesn't need yeah like fox or something or i mean it's it's really good i'm really impressed there's right. they're stepping up their game that's good so it's i definitely recommend it for somebody that uh is looking for so, some coilovers yeah, and getting into so, being and in yeah, the truck, getting into you know, your truck like yeah. it's a it's a good setup yeah i'm now, impressed i will say um i heard these can't be rebuilt um i heard the fox heard can be but i heard like after i heard i don't know for sure so, i think like these are ready for like 45 50 000 miles before they yeah. go bad or out or something i don't know i've heard that too yeah so i think the fox can be rebuilt you can whatever rebuilt me you know rebuilt me yeah so you whenever you're Sometimes your struts and your mm. shocks can go bad. Yeah. And you you can like rebuild them, like refresh them. You okay. Know, pretty much just fix them. Okay. Um, so I have heard that that's not possible well, on right, the Vertex, right, which right. is definitely a downside. It is, so for sure. And that probably reflects the price. Yes, for sure. Like it's a one-time use thing. You can't go back and fix it when that it breaks. Is, right. So, it's probably something to keep in mind. Very but much so. I wouldn't say it's a huge reason not to do it. Right. So I agree. I, I really do think that's the thing to consider, guys. You, you know, depending on how you're going to keep your truck, if it's a brand new truck, you know, maybe go to BDS if you don't want to be, you know, if you're going to keep it past the 45,000, 50,000 miles these are rated for, you know, I, I don't know. It's something to think about. Like, so he liked the Paul, like it. BDS owner yeah. drives it. I think they're, I mean, a good entry level shot, good entry level lift kit. If you're just getting into it, man, you know, I don't think you can go wrong. But like you said, this is the first rendition of them, too. So, yeah, this is the first version of them. Yeah, they haven't so, released any updated no. version yet. And so. I'm pretty sure they will. So, they probably, they're only oh, going to yeah. get better. And, you know, but you can always get better. Yeah. <laughs> always With anything in life, there's yes. always improvements. There you go. So. That's the Paul tip of the day, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, now we go 
go over and hop over into, I'm gonna drive his truck with the Fox Coil Up kit. So here we go. Let's jump in. You got your keys? Got my keys. Oh, I gotta move the seat back now. Yeah, you gotta move the seat back now. <laughs> I don't even think I can get up. Okay, I can get in here. Oh yeah, dude, I gotta move this way. Man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you are a very tall man, dude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go all the way to the bike. There we go. Uh -huh. Oh, you got the trailer backup assist on here. Yes, so I've got the trailer backup assist yeah. and then the trailer brake as well. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah and push it, to start. And yeah, so I've got the push to start, keyless right. entry, everything. Let's see that real quick. Before right. I start, I just want to hear this exhaust, man. I want to see what it sounds like inside. I really, it sounds good. I like that. Yeah, and like I was saying, like it's really, it's really quiet. Yeah. Like when it's, when it's inside and yeah. you have your radio going, it's yeah. pretty quiet. It is so. pretty good. And I instantly know the difference. You got Sync three or four, whatever this is. Uh, this is Sync three point four, whatever it is. It's, okay. Uh, yeah, it's twenty eighteen and up. Okay. Yeah, it, yeah. I think. You map I see. Show them real quick. Yeah. You got the full, the you know, the newer cluster, uh, digital dash yeah. cluster for the most part. It's nice. It's, it's nice. I like this. It's huge. It looks very very big. Yes. All right. Here we go. All right. Oh, you got lane departure assist on here. Lane. Yeah. Uh, what's this for? Uh. That I don't know. I've never pressed yeah, the button. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I just pressed it. Oh, parallel park. Oh. Oh, okay. you got like, Oh, you know what? I saw the sensors okay. on the side of your truck, and I was going to ask you what is those for, but now you know. That's dope. Okay. So that's probably. Uh -huh. So it is definitely a. Um, it's definitely a distance thing for when you're getting too close to something. Yeah. As well. So uh -huh. that, but that probably doubles as the parallel yeah. park thing. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't even know my truck had that. <laughs> Twenty thousand miles, and I, I never knew. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Okay, I do hear the exhaust. Yeah, so you will hear the exhaust. It, it sounds good though. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, you keep the RPMs low, and it it's yeah. pretty quiet. So. Okay. Now, like you, Paul, I'm a little heavy on the foot. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt your baby. I promise. No, you're good. Okay. So like I was saying, I've only left my coilover adjustments as they were from right. the factory. Okay. So I haven't played with the dampening at all. And you're not sure what they set in right now? So they're they're probably set around in the middle somewhere. Okay. So something in between. Okay. But I mean, I've liked the ride so far, so I haven't felt a need to do it. Yeah. And I'm also used, uh, if you saw the last video, we were talking about my Mustangs. Yeah. So I'm used to stiffer suspension setups because gotcha. you know those cars were for going around turns and gotcha. going quick so <laughs> i'm used to stiffer suspension setups so that's kind of what i like as well Take this i just want to see something i will tell you it seems like your truck has less body roll than mine for yes. sure it doesn't roll near as much yeah as far as like this high feel it doesn't feel too much different you know yeah I it, it definitely feels very similar. Yeah, it does. I think it feels very similar. It's not like, it's not too, too different, but it is, it's smooth, very smooth. I think the biggest thing I know there was no body roll, for yeah. sure. Uh, but it's taking these bumps, like a, these like these little grooves. Yep. Like a champ, man. Like, I barely even felt that one. I'm, I'm going by 40 right now. I yeah. like that, it's awesome. I do like that. Gotta do it. Yeah, so it's, the road is about to change over right here, so let's see if it, you know, get a little, it's gonna get a little bumpier. But it's smooth, yeah. man. Yeah, it rides smooth. It does. Now, I will tell you the Versa tire, they are louder than my Nitto. Did you notice yes. that? Yes, yeah. So, that okay. is the other kind of big difference between our trucks yeah. is I have a mud tire. Right. So, and if you know anything about trucks, mud yeah. tires are going to be noisier. Yeah, noisier. So, just expect it. But, I will say the Versa tire is a lot quieter than other mud tires right. that I have ridden in. Okay. So, that is... That's a really big thing I like about do that. You, do you think the mud tires make it ride a different, a little uh, rougher too? Do it you like probably, the Nittos? So, yeah, the mud tires probably will ride a little bit rougher right. than an all-terrain tire yeah. like the Ridge Grapplers. But, um, like I said, like for a mud tire, it's really good. Okay. So, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit noisier. It's going to be a little bit rougher. You might if I get a little gas right here? Yeah. Put in sport mode. Yeah, you gotta press oh, you it got a couple. Like yeah, five I modes. have five modes, so you gotta yeah. press it a couple times. Yeah. yeah, it sounds good, man. It pulls. Yeah, it pulls, and it's stock gearing, right? Stock gearing. Yeah, stock gearing. 
Man, it pulls. It gets up and go. Yeah. I feel like you're, sh you 10 speed? It is a 10 speed. Okay, your shifts are definitely uh, smoother, a lot smoother than my shifts are. I have a six speed. Right. So I can notice, like, when my shifts, I don't know because of the way the freaking tires and things like that, it shifts a lot harder. Yeah, um, and. I don't go ahead. If you have, well, you have an MPT 10, right? I got MPT 93 PRS. So the I good thing about tuners is you can adjust how hard mm -hmm. and soft you want the shifts to be. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, that's another preference thing too. Gotcha. So if you want it to be a little bit softer, your tuner should be able to to do that. To, to do it. To make the adjustments. Okay. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm just. But kind of yeah, coming from a six speed to ten speed, that definitely is going to be different. It is. So I noticed. I because really, only it only shifted like one time. I think one or two times. You yeah. know, it felt like anyway. But I will say, like I like I say, instantly, I can tell you there's. It did take that last roll we were at. The, the, it did feel less bumpy. I'm gonna say that for sure. It didn't feel. I don't know because of my truck is tall, thirty with the thirty sevens or what. But I felt less feedback in your truck. Meaning a good thing. Like it right. didn't feel. Yeah, yeah. It's like boop 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 boop. You know mine with mine. I could kind of feel it bouncing. Yeah. A little bit with yours. I, I definitely felt that. Yeah. Here. With yours, it seems like it absorbs it better. Like I don't feel as much of that. Yeah. And the body roll is yeah. Not, there's there's pretty much no body roll. Yeah. It's not, it's not. It's not. It's not really much body roll at all. Yeah, and we're taking the same route in yeah. both trucks. Okay, guys. So, dang. Jeez. All right. <laughs> <laughs> dang, you about to get an F F two fifty as well. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I will. It does. It's like there. You know, guys. We, like I said, we just went up and down the street. We didn't do nothing crazy. You know. Yeah. You know, a lot of people want to say, "Oh, take it off road and jump it." And nah, you uh, go jump your truck. Uh, How about that? I'm going to jump mine. Yeah, we're we're taking basic daily driven yeah, kind of roads, exactly. so, and exactly. that's really kind of what matters, at least to most people like us. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, is it a, is daily drive? How does it drive daily? Yeah. And I'm going with some speed right now, and it's it's smooth, man. I, I kind of almost want to take back what I said about not riding like stock. <laughs> <laughs> almost, you know, because. You know, it's it's pretty good. Man. I I think okay. Uh -huh. I think if I had all terrain tires on this, oh yeah, you'd probably fully take that back. Yeah, I, I, I think, think so you too. probably would. Because I'm telling you right now, guys, this is this road we're currently on feels smoother in your truck than my truck. I will say that. Yeah. Because I definitely felt just a little more bounce in my truck than your truck. Right. Like, it's not bouncing at all. It's just it's yeah. smooth, bro. The the coilovers definitely seem to take the bumps a lot more like it yeah. absorbs them a lot more it does it, it rides good it really yeah. does i mean the steering wheel look at that no hands it's in alignment i mean it's not pulling in well, yeah I mean, it's the i mean the, yeah the road's the curving road's a little curving bit right here but yeah. yeah you know but no man I'm, i i i can say i can feel a difference i can't feel i think this is a little smoother than mine I, it absorbs it's feel like it absorbs bumps a lot better I ain't gonna say a lot better, but it better. Yeah, it does. which it, it could be a pretty big important thing to you. Yes, you know? it could be. It, it very well could be. I'm gonna take this with some speed if you don't mind. No, yeah, so go for it. To see what it does. You know, like oh yeah, yeah. It, yeah. So and it's, I took that a lot, a lot slower in your truck, you and it felt pretty same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I took that pretty and fast. The, yeah, we went a lot faster That's in it. my truck, and it felt really smooth. I'm gonna be real with you. Like when when I would have hit that my truck, it would have. You know, you yep. hit the stuff rattling in the interior. Okay. She's anyway, busy now. She's busy now. <laughs> no time for us. But uh, yeah, I, I think this is smoother. I will say, guys, yeah. I think the BDS is a little bit smoother than the uh, rough country. Um, and like, I mean, like I said, it's not a. Like you said, that may be a make or break for you, but I can definitely tell the difference driving your truck. Right. I can tell the difference. Now I do. I'm on bigger wheel and tire package. I don't know if that yeah. matters. Well, but. I think it kind of evens out. Like mm -hmm. having you having a bigger tire, but me having mud tires. Yes. yes. I feel like that may even out a little bit, but yeah. there's probably still a little bit of a difference. But I don't know, man. I like it, bro. Yeah. I, I like this, guys. I I like it. I, like <laughs> it. I, I do. I like it. I think there's there's a bit of difference. I think I'm impressed with the BDS. Now, you ask me, I, I guess I, you can ask me this so I can answer the question. My next build, oh, you got back uh, camera. I'm yeah, looking around, I'm looking at this. Yeah. Like, oh, you got a camera. Uh, yeah, I probably will say if I, on my next build, I might would go a BDS. I, 
I'm, and I hate. I'm not saying that guys to do, to, uh, to get y'all away from rough country. To talk the rough country is great. I'm not gonna yep. love it. It's a good kid, uh, but I think this is a bit smoother. I really do. I think this is a tad bit smoother than mine. So, yeah. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with either. No. Nope. But the fact, like we said earlier, these can be rebuilt. You know. Yeah. And those can't. Um, by the time you finish getting a brand new set of the Vertex coilovers, you're gonna be about the price of this. You know, because those the yeah. was about a thousand bucks, two hundred bucks. So you're just gonna push you to about fifty five, six thousand. Yeah. So Yeah, so I mean by the time you have to replace your coilovers, yeah, yeah just about evens out. Yeah, so. it does. So I mean it's, yeah, I like the BDS. I'm impressed. Yeah. It's smooth. It's, it's really it's smooth. It's good. It's it a is good, good kit. Like I said, I don't think you're growing either. That's smooth too, but this this yeah. did handle the bumps just a little, a little not better. It did. I can tell. Yeah. And uh -huh. as far as lift kits go too, um, just one note on this. Yeah. Any spacer kit is uh -huh. going to pretty much ride the same, you think? Right. We talking like so, like just having a spacer, spacer block on top of your stock yeah. strut. Uh huh. I never so, I mean, rode a spacer kit. Go ahead. So my uncle had a pro comp kit, uh -huh. and then my buddy's rough country talk, uh, kit that we were talking about. Okay. Uh, spacer kit as well. Yeah. They both rode pretty much the same. same. Okay. So I think it, any spacer kit, uh -huh. don't expect it to difference. Right. <laughs> so you saying we still but expect it to when you add like, coilovers, uh -huh. that's where you're gonna start seeing. Oh, notice the difference. I think. In the ride as far quality. as lift kits goes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 100 percent. When I added my vertex yeah. coilovers, the ride quality changed so yeah. much more over just the regular. Uh, the kit, the lift kit that was on there, which is the um, strut yeah. lift, is what you're saying? Yeah, space lift, strut lift, kit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah for thing. sure. For sure, coilovers yeah. definitely changed the ride. But no, nah, man, I thank, you for, I thank you for letting me do this, bro. I'm yeah, of course. Love your truck. I told him, guys, it's one of my favorite yeah. trucks out here. Wait till you drop the pictures. I love this thing. It's a King Ranch. Yeah. It's nice. He, you did a good job with it, bro. I think you built it perfectly, honestly. I know, man. Freaking push the start. So, so yeah, the sensors right here, when I was standing here talking, I, I saw that. I was like, I wonder what that's for, and now yep. we, we figured so out what yeah, it's for. I guess that's part of yeah. the parallel parking. I've <laughs> so, never used this, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to go bigger? Do you think you want to go? I know you've been seeing um, it. So Yeah, I okay. think I do. Okay. Um, I don't know if y'all follow, any any of y'all's your viewers follow Miami Boosted on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so shout out to my guy, Miami yeah. Boosted, bro. I'll put him right there. Y'all can so check him out. He's got, uh, I it's think he's huge, bro. Swift on 38. He's, it's huge, bro. It's big. Like 38, 15, 5. Yep. Yeah. But the stance looks really good. It does. So I, I'm considering adding, um, a space or a, a leveling kit on okay, top, on top of, of my it? coilover. Okay, stack it. And then doing a an extra leaf spring in the back. Add a leaf in the rear. So then the lift kit itself should be brought up to nine inches. Gotcha. And then uh, I'm kind of working something out on 24 by 14 forces already. Ooh, Maybe. okay. It may happen. We'll see. Um, okay. Okay. So. If that happens, then yeah, we'll be going bigger and then bigger <laughs> wheels and tires too. So. I will. Uh, I will say for the record, I think this thing is perfect the way it is. I it's wouldn't very, change it a, a bit. It's a very dailyable. It is clean. I just love it. No, I, but I understand the twenty-four. You know, yeah, I'm on twenty-fours. Twenty-four by fourteen. Yeah, so I understand the that. The look is. I, but I hear it good. rides and handles a little different with that big wheel and tire it stuff. It does. You know, it's gonna. It does. It, you get so. bigger wheels and tires yep. and wider, especially. Yes. Um, yes. Expect some difference in handling right. and the way it drives. So. And you know, over time, I hear that you know it causes your front end components to wear yeah. a little faster yeah, yeah. than normal. I mean, that's even when you lift. But it's a trade off. It is a trade off, man. It looks good, you but gotta, hey. you got to pay to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, guys, uh, that's gonna wrap the video up. Uh, you heard about our impressions of what we thought. I don't think you can go wrong with either kit. It's a personal preference thing, budget thing, whatever you want to do. Thanks, Paul, again, for yep. doing that, bro. Let me ride, drive, and all that. Hopefully, y'all guys enjoyed that. Y'all been asking for it. Y'all gonna get this man a follow on Instagram. Gorgeous truck. And, you know, maybe changes coming soon. Got to go find out. Watch the, uh, follow him to find out, you know. But anyway, that's all I got. It's your boy Q. Catch y'all next. Say peace. Say what's up. I mean, see, see you later. <laughs> all right. Peace.